from a business perspective, what kind of new AI experiences or capabilities does this combination unlock for customers? Things like in the media industry, it's real-time video intelligence. The ability to capture a stream, identify any anomalies or anything interesting in the stream, and then very quickly to be able to deliver derivative works. So whether that be, I want to enable a new type of market for betting on a game, I want to enable people to better appreciate plays or their favorite players, uh, we want to apply it to different use cases where, you know, let's say even in, in real time um, capture of, of uh, what's the word I'm looking for, in reality TV, where people set up, you know, hundreds potentially of cameras, but they might not all be active at a given point in time. Artificial intelligence can help us to figure out where the action is, capture that action in real time, process what's interesting about that action, create a derivative work from it, and then distribute it because all of that intelligence is now happening closer to where the video capture occurred and to where we have to send it for our customers. If we look at uh, commerce and travel, that's where we're seeing people evolving what they currently do with recommendations engines and creating personalized experiences for their users. That could be anything from what I wanna buy from a given um, you know, company to go from, I'm interested in buying a sweater to let me help you understand what you typically enjoy for me and what is the most appropriate thing where you live or where you might be traveling based on your previous feedback. All of the stuff that we up until now have not been able to do in real time programmatically and have required customer service, uh, customer success management and other sort of human interactions or just time-based delays will be able to happen in real time because the intelligence is in the model. And the proprietary data most businesses already have about their inventory, about their customers, about their customers' social interactions and everything else, it's bringing it together and being able to process that and deliver intelligence and an outcome in real time that we are, are delivering with the Akamai Inference Cloud. And as we extend that, we're starting to experiment with our customers on things like real-time fraud detection, real-time approvals of you know people who are looking for a loan or maybe to finance a home purchase. And then as we go further, it's physical AI uh, use cases, things like integration with robots, supply chains, what we can do with healthcare and life sciences. Um, there are a number of practical real world applications that we are moving towards as agents and machine to machine interaction will become a reality and are starting to take hold. But today, the realization of inference at scale is where Akamai is really interested in investing now because that's what we see our enterprises doing right now today that is business critical for them to grow over the next two to three years.